Hey everybody, welcome back. In the last video, we made this kind of little game where you type out your name or whatever and hit a button. But what I want to do in this video is something a little bit different. So if we type out good, so we'll type out what kind of day is it today? Is it a good day? Hit the button, you see a nice sunny picture outside my apartment. Or if it's a bad day, you type in bad, hit a button, and it changes to this accident that I, this photo that I took last night of an accident. I was reading my on my iPad when I heard a big bang, I looked out my window and a car had been in an accident. But thankfully nobody died or was terribly injured. So anyways, so if you type out your name or good, good day or whatever button, this might seem a little bit silly, but you're gonna actually use these concepts a lot. It's, we're gonna be using if statements, we're gonna be using images and that kind of stuff. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is um, have this image there so that it, it, it's called an image view. So let's do this. So bad, there's our image and we can close this to get rid of that. So if it's a bad day, we'll, we want to change the image depending upon what is typed out in there. So we're going to use an if statement, but first we need to do a couple of things. Um, first, what I want to do is I want to get my pictures. So let's see here just a second. I got to find them. Yeah, here they are. So just if you're on Windows or Mac or whatever, what you can do, open them up in Finder or Windows Explorer or however you do that. Select these photos and copy them. Go back to Android Studio, open up, uh, then make sure you're in Android there and make sure Project is open. And then if it's closed like that, just open up App, Resources, Drawables, and then paste that right here. So paste. And the default is fine, it hit OK there, hit OK, and it hit OK one more time, and it adds these pictures to our project. So you can see that here's a, there's the accident small, which is the fire trucks and ambulances and police from last night. Then we have a nice sunny day if it's sunny outside. This is from a couple of months ago, I think. So two very contrasting pictures. So we, first let's go back to our content main and let's actually add an image here. So how do we do that? So first open up, uh, make sure it's open and go to design mode, not text mode, but design mode. Go ahead and search, you can search for it. I think it's image view or you can just find it in common. I think it's image view right here and click and drag that somewhere. Let's just put it right there for now. And this is gonna pop up and it's gonna ask for a photo to put there. So what are we gonna put? Let's put, open up project and let's start with the sunny image. So go ahead and click okay there. And now we can see this is kind of big. So let's go ahead and make it smaller, kind of position it around. We can make it small. So now that it's kind of nice and small, now let's constrain it. So this isn't, this isn't gonna work until we actually constrain either top or bottom or left or right. So let's do right first. So on the constraint, click, drag, let go, uh, then click, drag, and you'll notice it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually, to, to connect to the, to the name type, kind of like draw, like click and drag up to there. So now here's our nice small image. So actually what we can do is we can actually set precise limits to it. So over on the right side with the image you selected, make sure you open up attributes there and let's do let's do 200 dp everything in android is in dp or sp so just 200 dp that's a good width if you want you can make it bigger so i'll do 300 dp you can kind of experiment with this and three and see 300 dp i think for for this is good for me so i think that's good you'll notice there's some other stuff that we won't get into like scale type like if you want to center it inside or like and or there's a crop one that i use sometimes center crop so that one will make sure that the whole image view is filled up but we won't really get to that i mean if you want you can kind of play around with that we have our hello world behind there that's kind of an accident but oh well so we have our image here so i'm going to go ahead and save it and let's go ahead and run it and i'm going to open up the emulator the emulator will open up where's the emulator Emulator's giving me problems. I don't see the emulator, just a second, let's see. Here we go, okay. Something weird was going on. So here's the app. So it's opened up in the emulator and you can see, yeah, it looks pretty much like our, it looks pretty much like our other, so, uh, other like our screen on Android Studio. So let's go ahead and let's do um, good. So this, this, this doesn't have the logic in it yet. So let's write a little bit of logic. So we know whenever we hit the button, we wanna see what's in here. And if it says bad, then we want it to be an accident. Or if it's good or something else, we'll say the, 
we'll, we'll show that sunny picture. And again, this is kind of a crazy example, but you'll probably, like I write if statements 30 times a day, maybe 30 or 40 if statements. I add images all day long, uh, dependent upon what I do at work. So like this is really useful stuff, even though it might seem a little bit silly. And you can substitute your own photos for anything if you want. So let's go back to our Java. Uh, let's open up main activity, and this is our Kotlin. So what we did in a previous video is we said, hey, whenever you set, whenever you click, whenever you click on the button, do all of this stuff. So we want to do something else. So let's do this. So we'll do if, uh, then we have, and if we go back to here, we can see, we can select that and say, oh, it's edit text there. So if edit text dot text dot to string equals bad, then we want to do something. So what do we want to do? Let's do, first let's give our image an ID, so select the image, and we'll call this um, custom, custom image. So we have it selected, we have custom image there. If we go back to main activity, now we have access to it. So custom image, and then we can do dot set image resource. Uh, then we can we can actually put in our accident photo, so our bad photo. So it's gonna be it's gonna be r dot drawable dot. Uh, then you'll have you can start typing the image. So accident, and it'll fill it in for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that, and I'm gonna run it and go back to the emulator if it'll open up again. And let's see if this works. So here, there's our name. Let's type in good. Hit the button, nothing happens. Now bad day, if we hit the button, boom, it changes out that image. So this is a little bit messy, like it opens up the keyboard, it's kind of hidden by the keyboard. That doesn't really look good, it's not all the way over. Like there are, there are a lot of problems with this, but we can fix that. So first, so it's the bad image right there, say we type out good, so say we type out good, um, nothing, it doesn't change back to the good image, that's because we don't have that logic written in yet. So if the image is bad, then we want to set it to that accident small image. Else, or we'll do this. We'll do or we'll do else if edit text dot text dot to string equals good. Then we want to basically do this line again. So I'm going to copy that line, copy it there. Uh, then we'll do sunny. So if it's if it's so if it's bad, it'll do that. If it's good, it'll do that. And the braces there kind of define what happens there. So I'm going to save it, run it, and go back to the emulator, and let's see what happens. So if we type out, uh, if we type out good, yeah, that's showing the good image. Or if we type in bad, that shows the bad image. And then if we go back to the good image again, then hit the button, and there it is. So in real life, you're not going to want to use this kind of logic. You're going to, I mean, not a, you're not going to, you're probably not going to just switch out an image depending upon if it's good or bad. So, I mean, this, but they can have a lot of implications. Like you can, if, say you're creating a list of users and you want to display a profile image next to there, you're gonna be setting images. Um, there's, you know, all kinds of reasons why you want, might want to write if statements. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else we need to do. So ASDF, ASDF, nothing happens. We could, easily, we could easily do tons of these. We could do else if, we could do if it's good, if it's ugly, if it's sunny, if it's hot, if it's cold, if it's rainy. We can do lots of else if statements. The first one is always if, then after that we add the else if. And there's actually one more state, there's an else. So if, if it runs through all of that and nothing gets caught, then it'll do in the else, so if it's, It'll, it'll do what's in the else statement right here. So if it's not, if it's not bad and if it's not good, it'll do, we could do just, just as easily put another one here. We could do, uh, you know, this one could be called ASDF or whatever. That can be our other image in case it's not good and if it's not bad. So hopefully you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.